First up at 11, after days of serious traffic trouble, some drivers in Norwalk are breathing a sigh of relief. I-95 North is back open after Thursday's fiery tanker crash. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Brian Reed. The southbound side is still shut down while crews work to clear debris. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Cerullo shows us today's progress. For the first time since Thursday, traffic is moving along I-95 North. Workers busted the bottleneck just before sunset Saturday, the first sign that this nightmare in Norwalk will eventually come to an end. These uh, past few days have been pretty tough. John McKenzie lives nearby. On Saturday, he stopped by for a first-hand look at the demolition, opting to travel on foot to avoid the traffic trouble. Oh, yeah, I get my exercise in. <laughs> I got to check my phone <laughs> to see how many miles I walked. Meanwhile, cars filled with frustrated drivers continue to crawl through city streets. All the traffic, you see this, it's like it ruined everything, you know? It's just, it's just crazy. Like, I never expect something like this to happen. From sunup to sundown, Norwalk police officers took on traffic duty, directing the seemingly endless stream of cars. All the while, state police were closing in on the cause of this fiery crash. According to a newly released accident report, a car was merging on 95 South when it collided with a tanker truck. Police say that tanker truck then collided with a tractor trailer before bursting into flames under the Fairfield Avenue overpass. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but the resulting highway headache on 95 South and the congestion on city streets is expected to last through the weekend. It's not easy. You got to be patient. You know you're going to be sitting in traffic, so try not to get aggravated and that's it. Work will continue throughout the day on Sunday. Once crews finish clearing that pile of debris, they're going to start repaving the road in an effort to get I-95 southbound back open before the Monday morning commute. In Norwalk, Mike Cirillo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Now, if your plans this weekend would normally take you along 95, there are some suggested highway detours. Now, you can take I-87 North in New York to the Mass Pike and then reconnect with 95 in the Boston area. And another option is to take I-84 through Connecticut to the Mass Pike, and that will also take you to 95, again, in the Boston area. Now, stay with Channel 3 for continuing coverage on...